Fight Magazine. Danny Acosta here with UFC middleweight Jay Silva. Uh, pleasure to speak with you. How are you doing today? I'm doing good, man. Getting ready, getting pumped for the fight tonight. Let's go get it on. Uh, absolutely. And you, you've had uh, two fights in the UFC now. Uh, you know, some rough decision losses to a couple wrestlers. Uh, what have you done to improve your wrestling uh, since your fights? I'm not taking any fight on short notice. I don't, I don't want to take any fights right now until I know my wrestling is good. Because I, I like to finish fights. And I want to make sure next fight, if he's a wrestler, stand up, I want to finish him. I'm mad. I'm going to put somebody to sleep standing on the ground. I don't care. Well, I'm going to improve my wrestling. Are you a fighter who needs to be mad at their opponent to, to go out there and perform? Not really, man. I just got to be better on myself, you know. I just I need to be good. I believe I'm good on, on, on certain areas. I need to be good all around. Because my last fight, I was really mad at Chris Lieben. And I was just, you know, I thought he was going to stand up and do our thing. Like, you know, everybody say how tough it is and this and that. So I was really mad. I was like, you know, this guy going to stand up with me. For him to take me down the whole time, I was mad. But then I realized this is MMA, not Muay Thai, not boxing. You know, you got to be well-rounded. You got to be getting ready for MMA fight, not a stand-up fight. That's what I did wrong. I, I got ready for MMA, I mean, for a stand-up fight. He was, he was right, man. He took me down and beat me up down, and, you know, it's all good. So now I want to come back stronger, you know, because I want to fight him again. I will fight him again. I need leaving again. I will put him to sleep. Watch. And uh, who have you been working on your wrestling with to ensure that, you know, you're going to be ready next time you fight Chris Lieben? A lot of people, man. Uh, I start training with uh, Body Shop and Tony McKee. Everybody knows he's a really good wrestler. He got really good wrestler people in there. Who else? Uh... I got a few good wrestlers, man. I'm going all around. Everybody that is wrestling. I was talking to JC Taylor. You know, he told me to come down and train with him, wrestling. You know, a lot of people. Uh, obviously, dangerous on your feet, improving your wrestling. Uh, how about your jiu-jitsu? How's that coming along? Well, jiu-jitsu is fine. When I start doing MMA, people don't know. I was doing jiu-jitsu with Hands of Grace in New York. So I'm good. You know, that was my background, jiu-jitsu. I was fine. I was like, you know what? They're going to take me down. I'm going to defend the take. I mean, you know, I'll try to defend take down. If they take me down, I'll submit them. That's what my mentality back in the days. But along the way, I just forgot about that. I just wanted to stand up. I started training for, you know, Rampage and Chuck Congo. They're great stand-up fighters, and they knock everybody out. So, you know, I got so into, you know, what they do that, you know, I try to do the same thing. <laughs> you know, I try to go. That's mini me. Chad Congo's best friend. Yeah, so I tried to do the same thing, trying to knock people out, and, you know, it was fun. My first knockout, I was like, whoa, that really works. And I discovered that got knockout power, so I was like, yeah, I want to do the same thing. I forgot my jiu-jitsu, but as you can see, Chris Lieber could submit me. Chris C.B. Dalloway can submit me. They can take me down and do all they want, but they won't be able to submit you. I promise that, because my jiu-jitsu is good. I just don't use it as often. But now I'm back training jiu-jitsu a lot, and I'm enjoying more. I'm in a set of mind, like, you know, if the fight goes to the ground, I'm fine. You know, I'm going to work my jiu-jitsu. Back in the days, they take me down. All I can think, oh, let me get back up so I can knock them out. Stupid. But now, you know, I'm learning my lesson. Uh, you want to take your time and improve your skills before you fight next, but when are you looking to come back? Man, I don't know. I got to talk to my managers, see what they say. You know, I, I, I want to I fight again on May. You know, it's a good time. I, I, all this time, all I do is training, you know, a lot of wrestling. I stopped the stand-up, doing a lot of wrestling, a lot of jiu-jitsu, and probably, hopefully, May, uh, I'll get back. May, June. Jay Silva, gunning for Chris Lieben in May or June. Appreciate it, Jay. I now I I fight Chris Lieben again, homie. Watch. I, I, I love him. I, I want him so bad. I, I, I'm going to stalk his ass until I get him. Trust me. I want you back, baby. Call me out. Ask for Jay Silva again. I want you, man.